As the ten chosen soldiers reveled in the delightful taste of Esther rabbit meat, their enjoyment seemed to stretch into eternity. The succulent flavors brought a temporary reprieve from the persistent hunger that had gripped them, a brief moment of respite amidst the chaos of war. For those precious moments, they were able to forget the horrors of the battlefield and indulge in the simple pleasure of good food, General Blura, after careful observation, detected no adverse effects among the fortunate few, prompting him to extend the privilege to another 100 soldiers. It was a decision made with cautious optimism, a calculated risk taken in the hopes of boosting morale and lifting the spirits of his weary troops. Excitement surged among the troops as many eagerly volunteered to be part of the next group to savor the Esther Rabbit feast, the selected individuals, akin to famished tigers, devoured every morsel with unparalleled enthusiasm. The succulent meat, cooked to perfection, melted in their mouths, sending waves of pleasure coursing through their bodies. It was a taste of luxury in the midst of adversity, a brief moment of joy amidst the chaos of war. However, the joy was short-lived as the limited portions left them yearning for more, their appetites whetted by the tantalizing flavors of the Esther rabbit meat, the empty plates bore witness to the fleeting nature of their delight, leaving behind a collective wish for an endless banquet. Yet, even as they longed for more, the soldiers couldn't help but feel a sense of gratitude for the small reprieve from the hardships of war. For a brief moment, they were able to forget the dangers that lurked beyond the confines of their camp and simply enjoy the taste of victory, however fleeting it may be. General Blura, satisfied with the initial outcomes, shifted his focus to the broader army. After three days of monitoring, the soldiers remained unharmed, prompting a collective sigh of relief. With reassurance in the safety of the Esther Rabbits, Blura decided to grant the entire army the pleasure of indulging in this newfound delicacy. Cheers resounded across the Birai's camp as soldiers happily partook in the feast, their hopes lifted for a brighter future. Those stationed in the battlefield yearned for their turn to experience the taste of victory in the form of Esther rabbit meat. Meanwhile, General Blura, cautious and vigilant, abstained from partaking in the feast, wary of the possibility of hidden dangers lurking beneath the surface. On the opposing front, Ruta couldn't help but chuckle as he observed the unfolding events. In this unexpected turn of events, the Esther Rabbits, not the countless soldiers or modern weapons, emerged as the game-changers, altering the course of history across the entire continent. It was a testament to the power of deception and manipulation, a reminder that victory in war often depended on cunning and strategy rather than brute force alone, as the Esther Rabbit meat continued to flow into the Birai's camp, Ruta knew that the seeds of doubt and dissent had been sown. With each bite, the soldiers unwittingly consumed the poison that would eventually lead to their downfall. It was a slow and insidious process, but one that would ultimately tip the scales in favor of the guerrillist army, as the sun set on another day of conflict, Ruta looked out over the battlefield with a sense of satisfaction. The wheels of fate were turning in his favor, and victory was within reach. All it took was a simple rabbit to change the course of history, proving once again that in the game of war, anything was possible.